You know, when I think of uh, who all is in the Hall of Fame, I mean, there are Olympians. There is a Mr. Weezer Bridal, who is Mr. Volleyball of all of Manitoba. I remember some outstanding players during the days that I coached uh, high school ball, including a person such as Garth Pischke. And to be in that Hall of Fame is a tremendous honor. Talk about the sport and just uh, how passionate you are about volleyball. You know, uh, it uh, was an interesting scenario that when I uh, started teaching at the Steinbeck Collegiate, that this was one of my responsibilities. And uh, I ended up uh, taking a teacher's team uh, out to Moose Jaw one time, and uh, they asked us if we were A or we were B, and we did not know, so they flipped. And uh, what happened after the flip was something I've never seen before, a person serving the entire team. Jake Epp went to the line and served all 15 points. And after that, they said, you guys are A. Your coaching career at Steinbach Regional, Peter, and just what it meant every fall to have a team, a bunch of players together and mold them into a team that was always so, so good. Uh, I sat the team down some t one time and I said, you know what, uh, when we look back on our life, we uh, are going to remember uh, a lot of things, but uh, we're not going to always win. And I said, one thing that I'd always stress is the uh, joy of being together as a team and the experiences we have as a team. And many times, uh, players would come back to me and uh, tell me the joy they had of playing with the, the fellow uh, players on the team and what it meant to them. A couple of quick ones for you, Peter, in regards to your uh, Sabres volleyball teams. Uh, player who just, you know what, could leap and had the, just that greatest vertical ever. Uh, none other than Paul Reimer. I'd never seen a person who had a vertical that it went into the 40s. Best hands. Best hands, I would say, was Pino from St. Pierre. When it comes to a player that you got in grade 10 or even in grade 11 that you want, geez, he might not even get off the bench, but by the end of his volleyball high school career, you were just so proud of him for how hard he worked on the court. A guy by the name of Randy Fender worked awfully hard, but you know, Randy Fender, even in high school, never really blossomed to where he was when he got to university. He really shone at university ball. Five provincial AA championship banners for your school. Which is the most memorable? I guess the most memorable would be the one that we played in a Catholic school up north where uh, before the final game I had found a poem where someone had taken uh, some ver words from the Ecclesiastes in the Old Testament and made a poem out of it. The gist of it was, uh, you have labored all your life and now enjoy the fruits of your labors. And uh, I told the boys I was going to read poetry and they all thought I'd lost my marbles. Well, later on many years some guys came back to me and said, you know what? That poem had kind of put them in a really state of ease, and they went out and they played easily, and they won the championship in two straight. You know, you won five, but you had some great teams. Just talk about some of the, the difficult ones and the heartbreakers that just all of a sudden, you know what, the guys worked so hard, but it just didn't happen. The one the team that I did have, uh, we actually uh, were ranked uh, in the top uh, half dozen in the province, and uh, Miles Mack was always the uh, leader. And we had to go through uh, Westgate to get to Miles Mack, and we had beaten them every year. But before we got to Westgate, along came this team from Morris. And uh, uh, it just proved to me that at any given time, any team can beat anyone else. And on that team, there was a fellow by the name of Perry and also a, a guy by the name of Clayton Dreger, who beat us, and uh, we ended up not getting to uh, play West, Westgate. You know what, Perry Moore, you talked about hands, man. For a grade 10 student that year, so impressive. Peter, i got to ask you about your coaching career when it came to an end and just how difficult it was knowing that when you got out there for the last time sitting there that it was over. Yes, uh, when uh, in the latter years of coaching, I did not give the team the uh, number of days of practice we had early on. I used to practice maybe four times a week, and all of a sudden toward my end of the coaching, uh, I would be happy if it would be two uh, games uh, uh, practices a week. So I asked Mark Reimer to take over, and he coached him for one year, and then he had to go to Germany, he had a contract in Germany, and then I took the team for the last year, the last year that I was teaching, and I remember standing there at the end of the season, I said, you know what, this is the end of my coaching, but what a fabulous ride it was. Peter, thank you very much, and congratulations once again on your induction, you're a great, great man, and we really appreciate having this chance to talk to you. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you very much.